and welcome to the seventh episode of Sex, Brains, and Money. I'm your host, Nikki Thomas, with my wonderful puppy, Bon Bon, who's apparently trying to drink from my water glass. Anyways, today is October 26, 2012, and it's been a very busy month for me and for Bon Bon. She's been, she's just turned four months old, and of course she is the most popular part of the show, so I decided to bring her on one more time. I'm going to show you some pictures of what's been going on in her life lately. Bon Bon has started teething, which means that all of my furniture and my condo are subject to all of the destructive capacity that a chocolate lab can possibly muster. So let's take a look at some of the pictures. This is my bed frame, which she has decided to start eating for reasons I can't quite understand. She's actually taking chunks out of the bottom of it, which is kind of unusual. I guess she's not getting enough wood in her diet, so I'll need to take her out a little bit more and get her to chase some sticks. This is the door frame in my bedroom, which she has also taken chunks out of. You can see a little bit better in that picture that she's, you know, literally carving pieces out of it for reasons I don't quite understand. And over here you can see she's getting uh, her daily intake of drywall and been chomping off as much of that as she possibly can. I've been inspecting, uh, you know, when she goes to the bathroom. Here, is, here are the blinds because she needs, you know, a decent amount of plastic in her diet as well. I don't know why she does it, but she does. And of course she uh, never ceases to stop going after the drywall in other places. So, as you can see, she's a little bit frisky today, and I think I need to take her off the set really, really soon. But uh, before I do that, I'm just going to introduce the guest for today. I'm bringing back Leo Ferraro, who was one of our most popular guests, and he's going to do a segment that we call This Is Your Brain on Sex, where he's going to talk about some of the neurological correlates that come with sex and sexuality. And then we have a very sexy escort named Cleocatra, who's going to talk to us a little bit about her life and her job as an escort. And before all that happens, I'm going to do a little bit of a rundown on the Supreme Court of Canada's decision yesterday to hear the case, uh, the sex work case, with Bedford et al. You might remember the very first episode when I had Terry Jean Bedford, who is Canada's most famous dominatrix on. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the implications of the Supreme Court deciding to hear both the government's appeal and the applicant's cross appeal after we come back. So we're going to take a short two-minute commercial break. Stay tuned.